Hello and welcome to this video walkthrough for Kirk Hunter Studios Virtuoso Ensembles. This library gives you the opportunity to combine instruments in orchestral sections with massive flexibility, creating your own ensembles mapped across the keyboard for easy sketching, live performance and composition. It's a huge time saver. Virtuoso Ensembles runs in the full and free versions of Contact and contains full string, brass and woodwind solo sections with a very low memory footprint. The library also features piano, choir and percussion patches, more about those later. So let's dive straight in and demonstrate how the main orchestral patches are set up. This is the strings instrument as an example. The top half of the interface is dedicated to setting up the range, volume and panning of the different sections. Here we've got basses, cellos, violas and first and second violins and you can see their individual ranges on the virtual keyboard here. These ranges can easily be edited by using the range sliders. At the moment the default ranges are set up but let's imagine we want to play just the violins with the right hand and all the other strings with the left. So we'll set the lower range of the violins at MIDI G sharp 3 and the upper range of the violas at MIDI G3 to match the cellos. The possible range of each section is marked in blue and your chosen range in red. Any section can have its volume and panning adjusted and you can also switch sections to legato mode with the toggle here. Let's do that with the violins. The first and second violins are also unique in that you can activate both or either and you can also use this control to push the first violins up an octave. A lovely effect. I haven't yet touched on the many and varied articulations available for the sections. All of these are selectable by user definable key switch or on the interface itself. We've already heard the Arco articulation, but there's a version with harder attacks on the high velocities. Marcato gives a heavier attack for all velocities. Marcato Poco is a lighter version of this. Leaving the slur control on will mean that connected notes are slurred into and with the tremolo articulation you can either choose it outright or use the mod wheel of your keyboard to mix into the tremolo using this control. Of course there are also short articulations too, staccato, spiccato, and pizzicato. This is the brass patch, featuring four trumpets, six French horns, four trombones and two tubers. In this part of the interface you can adjust the EQ of the entire ensemble and these two dials control the attack and release times. This last section of the interface allows you to set up a different controller for dynamics. Useful if you prefer the mod wheel instead of velocity. There are also options to adjust the reverb or turn it off entirely. This microphone distance slider makes it easy to dial in a closer sound or push instruments further back in the mix. A quick look at the woodwinds now, just to demo how they sound. There's four solo instruments here, bassoon, clarinet, oboe and flute. Like every ensemble, the default ranges have been set up already, but you can change these easily yourself. In addition to the orchestral sections, there's also a full range choir patch featuring voices from bass to soprano.
and you've got a concert piano here too. There are also four auxiliary percussion patches featuring a wide variety of orchestral percussion and epic hits. All of these patches come together in the over 50 multis, categorised in sustain, marcato and staccato styles. Here's just a couple of examples of these. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this overview of Kirk Hunter Studios Virtuoso Ensembles. For more information, head to www.kirkhunterstudios.com.